Howdy 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 my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Velka and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for July Aquarius, alright? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today Aquarius, I'll let you in on a secret darling, alright? Click up here and you'll be taken to your monthly tarot reading as well. And let me know in the comments below Aquarius how my tarot readings help you out darling, alright? I like hearing from y'all in the comments below. And if my readings help you out darling and you want a completely free way to support me, I always appreciate it if you you were to just just to give this video a like and subscribe all right it helps me out more than you ever possibly can know and i always appreciate those who act to, who take the extra time to do that for me now aquarius when it comes to consuming tarot readings on youtube today be sure to check out more than just your one zodiac sign check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus darling all right cater to the energy to your chart darling so let's just get right into this here today aquarius i'm going to be getting into three rows for you darling your first row is going to be covering your career and financial situation all right and then today in your second row aquarius we're going to be getting into your social life so this could be your platonic relationship romantic darling someone in the family work life darling all right just your social life all right and then in your third row we're going to be getting into my personal favorite row which is your general tarot messages that you need to hear at this time and some predictions for you aquarius all right so let's get into this here this two cards stuck together we're gonna get into this aquarius with the back of the deck energy being the ace of cups here darling Ooh, darling <clears throat> you know the song that came to mind i don't know the full thing of it but it's like from this advertisement where it's just like i can see clearly now the rain is gone da, 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 da. that's what i get here with this ace of cups here it's like everything's finally starting to fall into place I don't know why, but I'm being shown like a confetti of like puzzle pieces like falling down and like magically coming together. So I don't know what that would really symbolize. I mean, yeah, it's like things just falling into place. I said it, but it's just kind of interesting. I never had that happen before. But um, yeah, Ace of Cups energy. Let's unpack this here. By definition, Aquarius. So, you know, I'm not just saying a bunch of positive things just to say it. Ace of Cups represents new love or new opportunity. Could be a new love or a passion here. It's like this sense for some of you guys. It might sound corny Aquarius but it's like a new love of life because something new inspires you and like uh something uh enters your life that's new so let's say for some of you guys you might develop like a new friendship all right because new people is what this ace of cups represents as well the new friendship that like kind of just takes off some of the burden of just existing in this life right or maybe a new hobby or something so it's like the mood starts lightening up with how things start happening for you uh, Aquarius so I really like to see this energy here in the back of the deck because as I always say darling back of the deck energy is going to be blessing each of these rows meaning it's going to be relevant for all facets of your life of course right so let's unpack this energy more starting out with your career and financial situation here Aquarius all right y'all have the three of cups five of wands with the magician energy coming in here so there was definitely a blockage uh that was going on here for your career i'm noticing here uh aquarius this is kind of painting a picture where it's just like people kind of were a distraction managing people's emotions that were not your own i don't know why whenever whenever i was saying that aquarius where it's just like managing people's emotions that are not your own i wanted to just like uh sigh and just because i just feel like this sense of where it's just like you're feeling very exasperated or just like frustrated with certain people illogical people having some of you aquariuses are asking the questions of like why you have to like function with the limiting confinements of like what society deems as like fitting like some type of societal norm having to like do certain things when it comes to like marketing perhaps there's almost like this frustration or like annoyance on your side of aquarius of like like this annoyance of like what it is that you have to do that to you seems extremely juvenile but you know it's this extremely necessary for you to do it to have the success that you're wanting to have like the yeah just really the success story because that's like the 
And that's what the complication is with this five of wands, darling, right? The five of wands, I lot it's my least favorite card personally, Aquarius, because I mean it's a card of conflict. It's a card of just like you wake up and just like people challenge you here. But this five of wands, like this is totally something that's in your control here as the magician energy, Aquarius. I always say the magician energy makes me reminds me of you because I always say that Aquarians represents are like the epitome of the mad scientist energy. It'll take a lifetime to understand just one singular Aquarius, let alone the whole world, right? But it's like you're able to handle these things with ease. That, that's why I feel like it's juvenile to you, right? It's not like a it's not like a challenge or obstacle in the sense of where it's just like you don't have the talent, you don't have the capabilities, Aquarius. It's an obstacle to you because it just feels juvenile. Yeah, how many times can I say juvenile? Take a shot every time I do, but don't. Uh -uh. So you, it's one of those things where it's just like, you're just frustrated that you have to play the game on any level, but at least you can kind of take uh, comfort in the fact, Aquarius, where it's just like, because I can understand this entirely, darling, all right? Let's just be very transparent, Aquarius. When it comes to titling my YouTube videos, that's the biggest thing I don't like doing for when it comes to doing tarot videos is that if it doesn't have some type of dramatic title, darling, it won't be good. Like, people won't click on it, right? And when it comes to my very mellow readings, honey, like, I don't, like, it's just like, I'm not very over the top, you know? I don't have that over the top personality, but I have to play the game on some level if I want to have success so it's like in this way Aquarius you get to have a little bit of a cheat sheet darling and know that if you play the game that you will get what it is that you're wanting out of it right the success that you're wanting to accomplish because nothing feels more silly than having to play the game and still failing at it while cringing at yourself at the, the entire time right so whatever that means to y'all so Aquarius your social life row now here is the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, with the Ace of Swords, uh, Aquarius, as the heart of the energy here, the heart of the spread. I love this a lot. So the theme here for you, Aquarius, is taking action on your thoughts, right? Ace of Swords. Notice how we have aces, by the way, darling, just following you here. As a tarot reader, the symbology behind having a multitude of aces popping up is usually just like a, it's like, it symbolizes like a green light. The go ahead to do something just as like a general sense when people ask like a like a yes or no question being like oh should i do this or not and this type of di dynamic it's always like a green light of like the go ahead from spirit to being like yeah darling go right ahead with whatever it is that you're planning and this dynamic with the ace of swords ace of cups influence here this talks about a sense of where you can't lose with the ideas that you have with the talents that you have uh aquarius because by going forward with it brings forth the opportunity that we were talking about prior. So just as like a side note, darling, right? But getting back into the social aspect of this, all right? Because it's like, I always like going on my tangents here. Aquarius, this feels as if like, kind of like entertaining like an old flame. And when I say old flame, I don't immediately mean like romance, but it's just like for you, Aquarius, I feel like you're almost like putting this is in one or two ways Aquarius all right so you're gonna have to let me know all right in the comments because this is my readings are always collaborative when it's a general chair reading honey this always has to be collaborative for you this is either a sense where it's just like my optimistic side Aquarius all right this is where you can really appreciate my personality my optimistic side is I see this and I'm like oh okay Aquarius is, is like putting their sword down because this is your energy Aquarius right your air you're an air sign spoiler alert even though your name starts with aqua you're the queen of swords here i see the you putting your sword down with a situation ten of pentacles someone that you had in your home life someone that you considered family or you know at some point in time you uh were comfortable around them i see you putting your sword down in regards to them when they enter your life again here almost like in a way of trying to talk things out figure things out here or it's the very opposite, darling, where you are putting up a sword, a strong, heavy boundary with someone in your home life because you're realizing dealing with this person here mate, was very unhealthy for you, for your career. You couldn't be about the business. You couldn't be about the creation process because you constantly were dealing with the distractions from them. Five of cups, I mean, five of wands, three of cups energy. All right. So I can see either side, darling. All right. I want to have it be, you know, my optimistic side wants it to be the first one. 
but I have to acknowledge it. For a very small percentage as well, we cannot neglect the message of the representation of the Ace of Cups coming in here. Aquarius, some of you guys need to also put down your sword when it comes to new, if you notice oh, someone new trying to make an appearance in your life here. All right, so the, just as like a, a side reference here, it's like some of you guys are very guarded with who you will talk to, who you will open up to. Some of you Aquarians need to entertain this person that's gonna be entering your life and talking to you this week, all right? Just as like for a specific few. Now getting into my favorite row here, Aquarius, your predictions, Nine of Cups, King of Cups with the world energy coming in here. Closure is happening for you guys here. A lot of emotional closure. It's like a lot of things are starting to make sense for you here or where you're able to finally, you're, you're, it's like a lot of you Aquarians, if you're able to think about it, you will like think about past situations that were really taxing for you emotionally at one point in time. Can we, I don't know. Um, you know what? Let me, I'm not even going to say what I just came up in my head honey oh, we're gonna just continue on anyways um yeah i get like this sense for you aquarius like uh, something that used to emotionally bother you so much and just take away so much from you energetically that you couldn't do anything else getting closure with that here all right um you're getting a lot more of a handle on it you're moving on from a lot of things here i feel like your next portion of your I know this is a weekly tarot reading for July, Aquarius, but I almost want to even say for you, darling, like the rest of this year, I see a lot of emotional stability coming in here for you. I want to be saying the latter part of this year is actually a really good year for you. Like the rest of, is a really good time for you, rather. When we have that world energy, there is the completion of a cycle. So what type of cycle have y'all been going through? All right. What patterns have y'all noticed? Let's get into your clarifiers, Aquarius. We're going to be clarifying your career firstly. Just as a reminder, it's the five of wands, three of cups with that magician energy. We're going to do one bridge shuffle, Aquarius, and then we'll get these clarifiers, honey. Mm. There. I love it when it's a good shuffle, darling. All right. Two of pentacles. Stop uh, stepping in here with the ten of cups, king of swords. Knight of Wands, back of the deck here, Aquarius, all right? <sighs> being more bold, being more bold here, Aquarius. Some of y'all need to be more bold here. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups here. Y'all need to be more bold. It's like you are very analytical. Again, you know what it is that you need to do to get things done. And you need to just be about the action. Get uncomfortable, get comfortable with the idea of being like, Here's the thing for you, Aquarius, and I can really, maybe this is me just projecting, but it's like, you need to get more comfortable with coming off as silly or being comfortable with being sloppy. And what I mean by this, Aquarius, I'm not saying that you're being sloppy, that you want to like make it a point to put out sloppy work, but I feel as if you want to be okay with having things be a little bit rough around the edges. All right. You have such a perfectionist type of brain. I know that because of this King of Swords here, but that's what's preventing you to have this Ten of Cups moment, darling. All right. This Two of Pentacles. You can constantly, it's like, I always hear Aquarius. It's like, if I had a nickel every single time someone has ever told me, to be like, oh, I wish I could do what you do, Velka, but, uh, um, I just, you know, I don't want to have the perfect recording setup. Like I hear all the excuses. And I always tell people like, this is like just right now, me moving to Florida, Aquarius, this is the first time that I like a setup. <laughs> I still would do changes because you can't even see me on the frame here. But you're never going to have things perfect, Aquarius. And so you need to just be okay with having things be a little bit rough around the edges. Don't be afraid of showing a little bit more of your personality. You know, the biggest struggle, the... The biggest struggle that the King of Swords struggles with is that, okay, Patrick, <laughs> the biggest struggle that you, the King of Swords struggles with, big words coming in for me, uh, you know I was judging myself too, uh, Aquarius, because I called myself my legal name even, I was like, girl, uh, but the biggest struggle that the King of Swords has is the idea of the King, Knight of Wands, right, the King of Swords is kind of like an exterior of playing it cool, all right, they kind of like, to, they don't like to be silly, this, the King of Swords is the last one that will play with a toddler, 
together, right? And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, of course, right? We've all seen people, you might be that person as well, where it's just like a toddler, a little kid wants to play with you, but that person's just so afraid of being silly, right? They don't want to look silly. So they are just all very serious with them, you know? That's kind of what I see this as, that you want to kind of break out of that shell because it's really limiting. Anyways, getting into your social life here, as a quick reminder, what your social spread is, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords with that Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords and being in the heart of the energy here, Fool the fool being in the back of the deck here two of wands stepping forward five of pentacles ace of pentacles there's another ace darling what ace are we missing now you have the swords pentacles cups we need the ace of wands now that's the only ace that you're missing here full energy back of the deck ace of pentacles here yeah i feel as if this is like someone that you walked away from aquarius this is definitely someone where it's just like you put a wall up with them they are no longer accessible to you or they for whatever reason and like they they feel bad there's like some type of the, the whoever it is that you're dealing with they feel bad about themselves with the situation associated with you and so it's like they want to extend out some type of communication and talk about like the long-term plans with things it's almost like Aquarius, you'll notice this week where it's just like you'll have a conversation with someone where it's just like, where are we going with this? What are we doing? Or you have a conversation with someone from your past being like, hey, you know, so much has happened. So much has changed. Do you, you know, is there anything left for me there? Right. It could be one of those ways. Getting into, into your general predictions, Aquarius. All right. Clarifying that. Remembering that it was the world. King of Cups with the ten, Nine of Cups, not the Ten of Cups. Why was I calling that the Ten of Cups? Am I just crazy? <clears throat> Empress Energy with the Six of Wands, my favorite tarot card. So you got my least favorite and then my favorite. Tower Energy in the back of the deck here interesting with the moon energy and the empress and six of wands here very very interesting for you aquarius for my very spiritual ones here all right be careful with who it is that you're working with spiritually because some of you guys are working with certain deities or just spiritual forces darling what you practice is none of my business aquarius all right so don't be typing in the comments below talking to me about you know what you know i no one you know i believe everyone's on their own personal journey all right but be careful who it is that you're working with because i feel like from a spiritual level this is the epitome of be careful what it is that you ask for because especially depending on whatever spirits that you work with if you're familiar with how they work all right if you're familiar with how they manifest things all right i kind of see them really getting you out of your comfort level out of your comfort zone in a big way if you're wanting you know if you're wanting certain things right if you're wanting like fame and fortune honey right because that's definitely what some of you guys would be wishing for, Aquarius, fame and fortune, or just a lot of attention, a lot of success on a certain project of yours here, right? How you have that happen, you get thrown into the limelight. You get really uncomfortable, all right? So that's really what it is. It's one of those things where it's like, be careful what you ask for, Aquarius, because I don't think you realize like how much of how much you're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone to have that be made to happen moon energy empress energy but all for the good though right it's all for the betterment i don't want this to sound like it's spooky all right you're definitely going to build character you're definitely going to create aquarius all right there's nothing negative about your reading at all and plus i don't see things in a negative spotlight anyways but it's just like you know are you ready you know are you ready to put in the work are you really truly ready to not only put in the work from a physical aspect, emotional, mental aspect, like all the aspects, like all sides. So Aquarius, that's the weekly, you know what? No, no. Let me give you your moon or who cards, Aquarius. I'm not going to let you go just yet. I'm going to give you three. All right. Because I gave Gemini three. Full moon and Leo. Go wild. This is the last card that y'all need to be having, Aquarius. Can I just be honest here? Y'all do not need to be told by any outside source, Aquarius, to go wild, darling. Y'all do that plenty enough on your own, whether that's internally in your head or externally. Y'all are doing something always wild. New moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Hmm. Trust all. Ooh. Girl. Trust all that will be all will be well. Mm hmm. It's almost as if like some of you guys will be a lot more okay with getting out of your comfort zone if you get the comfort in knowing that it pays off, right? 
And then first quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. Believe in your good luck, Aquarius. All right. So that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you. I don't feel like we need to unpack this. This video is already long enough. All right. I feel like it kind of speaks for itself here, Aquarius. All right. So I'm not Nostradamus or something, honey. All right. You definitely can be going to someone else for some deep thought provoking uh, uh, statements uh, that doesn't come from me unpacking through your Oracle cards. But um, I love you so much, Aquarius. Hopefully you found this tarot reading helpful on some level. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. Remember, Aquarius, if you'd like to book a private reading with me my website's linked to down below simply velka Dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both just being simply velka same as here darling all right remember that i do have your monthly tarot reading linked up here aquarius if you want to check it out and i'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future darling all right i love you so much aquarius bye darling